Hey guys, and welcome back to the Platypus Party YouTube channel, a channel dedicated to PlayStation content and critique. Today, I'm trying something new. I'm trying a tutorial. I want to do more tutorials for things so I can maybe help newer YouTubers and Twitch streamers and stuff. And I've been streaming on Twitch for a while, so I know a lot of stuff. But today... I am going to show you how I do my thumbnails. So this is my first time recording um, recording Photoshop. Hopefully everything turns out okay. But let me show you a few of my thumbnails. So we have Ghost of Tsushima. We got a lot of Fall Guys stuff. I was doing a Fall Guys week. And I know these thumbnails aren't perfect. I'm still new. But I'm going to show you uh, kind of what I do and hopefully these thumbnails uh you know if you want to do something similar or it just giving you ideas on what you could do for thumbnails these are really easy to make and i think they look pretty good in my opinion for a starting out youtube channel i've gotten better and better at thumbnails and i'm sure i will definitely keep improving but i got the Bug Snacks one I really like. The Spyro one I think is really cool. The Ratchet one. Uh, the new Ghost of Tsushima one. You can see I have a couple of different elements here. So let me show you a few of them. Let me open the Ratchet one really quick. So as you can see, this is my favorite one that I've done. And this is my second most popular video behind my Spyro one. But what I like to do is I like to add the border, which is uh, light blue on my first look videos. Each different kind of video I do has a different color border. So first look, it says on the bottom, it has a blue border, my platypus logo. Then each one of my videos has the background, which is, of course, the game. On this one, I also added the title, which I don't really do much anymore but maybe i will i don't know sometimes i write it out like with my ghost of shushima or here i have fall guys i just wrote it out i didn't actually get the uh the title of the game and then i always use yellow white and red which i think looks really cool and i use them in different uh patterns but they just stand out to me. I was kind of inspired by Borderlands with those texts. So that's really what got me using those. But you can use whatever colors you want. And then I put a character in the foreground. As you can see here I have the female Lombax. Here I have the Bean from Fall Guys. I don't have one on the live stream one. That's kind of a new thumbnail I'm working on. But... And then I have the Ghost of Tsushima guys. And don't worry if it's uh, Ghost of Tsushima guy. And don't worry if it's not perfect, if it's a little, what's the word, blurry. Because when you zoom out, it's going to look fine, you know. And you should probably zoom out to look at how the video might look on the on actual youtube like looking really good big is one thing but it also needs to stand out when it's smaller as well so that's something you need to think of let's um here's what we're do we're just delete everything on here because i already have the size that i want image size so this is 1280 by 720, that's what you're gonna want for your thumbnails. 1280 by 720. I'm using Photoshop. You can use whatever you want though. Photoshop is just the most simple thing. So we start out with our image here. What game should we make a picture on? Let's make a picture on, um, I mean, the Fortnite would be really easy. Let's do the last notes. The Last of Us 2, if you don't know, The uh, Last of Us 2, a big PlayStation game there. I do focus on PlayStation content, so I'm looking up on Google a Last of Us 2 picture, one with preferably some color, maybe. I don't want it all black. Here we go. This works, probably. This is fine. This is fine. 
And then we're going to actually resize this. What I do is I resize the width and then I link it to the height up here. And that'll keep it the original size. I'm actually going to have to make that a little bit bigger here. But okay, now we got our background real easy, right? So now here's kind of probably the most complicated thing. So what we want to do is make a square. I'm going to make a black square. Here's my square tool. And it doesn't matter what you do with it. Just do that. And then I'm going to push Control T to transform on... Uh, on Photoshop, you know, you, I just want to make it as big as the screen here. And this is going to be our border. You can also name stuff, name the layers like this, the background layer. And this is, uh, the, that's the, uh, the border. That's what that is. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so now what we're going to do, man, I need to turn it not into a shape. I haven't done this in a while. Let me see if I remember how to do this. I know one easy way to do it and that's to combine it with an empty layer and just merge layers and then that turns it off being a shape and why I want it to no longer be a shape is because I want to edit it and I'm just going to do like a square here. So now we got a border that might be a little too thick, honestly. Make it a little bit more, and it's not gonna be perfect. But uh, my don't tell anyone, but all my thumbnails, they're not perfect. So uh, there's our little border. Look at that, that's pretty cool, huh? And we're gonna pretend this is a, a review. Let's do a review, okay? So I'm going to type out review with the text tool and I'm actually, I bought a font here. It's called Lockdown, but Impact is my favorite free font. comes with every PC, so if you want to use Impact, here's uh, Impact. But I'm actually going to use lock, Lockdown because I bought it and I, I like it. So... And put that down there for now. That's going to be our text. So we want another box here. Um, what we're going to do is that might be too small, but I'm going to just go with it. I'm going to go with it. Who cares? I don't care. I'm going to box this in. I messed up. So like that, right? That's going to be our box and we're going to combine it with the border really quick merge layers so now review let's change the text to white so we can see it for now white there it is wow it's so beautiful and i also this is probably something i don't need to show you but i like to add a circle over here I'm going to make a thumbnail that looks exactly like mine. So this, this, this is good. The circle is white. No, but I taught myself Photoshop, which is why people who actually know Photoshop, you're probably like, what the, what the heck are you doing? But uh, there's probably easier ways to do this stuff, but this is just, how I learned I just fiddled with it until I learned so now I'm gonna go into my documents here I'm gonna open up my emotes folder I'm gonna pull out my logo Ooh, am I gonna be able to find my logo here it is look at that it's beautiful I actually uh, found a twitch artist to do all my art I paid them so don't worry guys, don't even worry about it. Okay, so we're gonna like make this smaller maybe, maybe like that. And then we're gonna link the height with the width. And boom, there it is. Oops. <laughs> okay, so now we want the circle and we're gonna move the circle here. We're gonna move that on top and Bam! Look at that! It's not gonna look exactly like my other ones, but 
you know, it, it'll look uh, similar. And that's okay, you know? Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just doing what I do, okay? So there's that. And now, let me show you the original, what we're planning on making this look like. Here it is. So actually, this is more over, but for my reviews, let me open a review one, which I don't really do reviews like this anymore, but let's do thumbnail, let's do review. So here's what we want to do, where's review, here it is. Review, let's just open to show you what Here's, here's my original Last of Us 2, and I think this one's going to look better than this old review, but that's kind of how the border's going to look. So you have a little example of the border here. So I need to open one more thing to get the pattern. Oops. To get the pattern, what I do is I actually made my own pattern. I guess you could Google one, make sure it's okay to use. I'm sure a lot of patterns would be okay to use, but I made this pattern myself, and you can kind of tell because it's not perfect, but here it is. This is it. We're going to just copy all of that, and what we're going to do, I accidentally closed something, I hope it wasn't important. <laughs> <laughs> oh god okay we're gonna paste it here right there it is and let's drag that in front of it now clicking the border we have the border layer selected we're gonna click this middle part here and then uh, with the magic wand tool of course and then we're going to click the uh, the pattern layer and we're gonna hit delete just like that, that deleted everything in the border, and then we're gonna drag the border up. Boom! Look at that! And now we could delete the border, I'm just gonna hide it though, because we got this new blue one. Looks good, I, I do say. I really don't like this circle, let me fix it. It's not exact, that's the problem. And I don't quite know how to make it exact. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. I messed up. Where's my history? Let's go back. Because this should be tied to this. So let's merge these layers. Merge layers. And now we're going to select here. And then we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna hide the border, there we go. And now for the review, the text, we're gonna click it, we're gonna add a stroke, which is like a little border around the text. You want it kind of thick so it, it's really like shown in the thumbnail. We just have it black. I also add a drop shadow and just up it because I think it looks good. Okay, so there it says review. Isn't that great? And I'm also going to actually add a stroke to the the border here, which you probably don't want too thick, but it can add another lay layer here. So there, there you go. Would you look at that? It's already looking great. Okay, now we're going to type in, this is The Last of Us 2. PlayStation 4 review, right? Let's pretend that's what the videos would be. So uh, we can turn that and stuff. But uh, I guess I guess we will, right? And that says PS cash side. Let's make that say four. And I'm going to add a stroke on this as well to make it stand out. And you want to make the stroke thick. Gonna use eights, I guess. And now let me change the the coloring. So I want to make this yellow. My three colors are yellow, white, and red. So we're just gonna do that really quick. Boom. 
And I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I can make this bigger. A little bit bigger, maybe. Bigger is always better, right? Okay, is that too big? It's probably too big. It's too big, hold on. One second. Is it too big? Okay. Let's pretend that's fine. There it is. So now we're going to look up a character, and this is where Photoshop might help you, but I'm sure you could do it in other stuff too, but it might be harder. So Last of Us 2, and then I'm gonna look up Transparent, which means the background is invisible, and I'm gonna actually find a photo I like, such as, this one's pretty good here, and I'm going to save it. I know you can't see, it's a picture of Jesse. This is Jesse, he is from The Last of Us 2. So now we're gonna just open that file, we don't need the pattern anymore, and we're gonna paste it right here. Look at that, it's Jesse. It's everyone's favorite character, and I am going to keep that in front of the blue, the blue border, but I am going to move the text all the way up so it's in the foreground here. And there's Jesse. Let's now. Here's what you can do: you could try and stroke it. It might not look the best. You could also add a drop shadow, but I don't know if I'll do that. Outer glow is something that uh, I do sometimes. I don't know if it looks amateurish though. I feel like it might, but. Uh, that kind of highlights him a little bit and that can be really useful if the outlines aren't exact so it kind of Looks like it's more exact if you have to edit the picture yourself if it doesn't have a transparent background, but there's Jesse there he is that's him and I don't know if I like this last of us background picture Let me see if I can find let's just search up last of us to wallpaper Because I want something pretty right we want something pretty okay and we want something that maybe is not overused is this a this is copywritten it's fan art i guess like this could be cool i i would have to actually look up if this picture is popular in thumbnails but since we're just doing this to do it uh, I don't need to look that up, but that is something you may want to look up if you're doing thumbnails and stuff. So there it is. I also am not a real big fan of this, but uh, maybe I'll make it work. I feel like I want this to look really good for you guys, but there it is. The Last of Us 2 PS4 review. And uh, now, since it is a review, I usually make my reviews pink. So I'm going to go image. Wait, I'm going to click my border. Let's name it border. It's always wise to name your, uh, your layers, though. It's not really something I do. I'm just doing it for the case of the video. But we're going to do image, adjustments, replace color. We're going to pick this blue up here. And we're going to actually replace it with pink like that fuzziness all the way up and boom ba bam that's the review that's it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you like the uh the image let's actually change the title to be like no nah, it's fine it's fine let me show you the thumbnail. I mean, you guys will have already seen it and hopefully you click this video because of the thumbnail. But this is the thumbnail that uh, I will be using for this video. I think it looks pretty nice. But as you can see, the background's actually blurry, but when you zoom out, you can't tell that. It looks great. It looks good. And there it is. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you in some way. I know it wasn't uh, maybe like a step-by-step -step follow tutorial, but I hope you at least learned something. And I am self-taught, so I know it's not perfect, but that just means that you can learn as you go. Follow this tutorial if you want. And, you know, never be discouraged just because you don't know 
much about a program like Photoshop or whatever because it's all about learning. You will get better. You will be able to make great thumbnails. Hopefully you guys think this is great. I think it's okay. You know, I'm still learning. Also, just a, a little tip. Uh, always capitalize your titles. It's something I forget sometimes, but I think it looks better. And here's my old review. So you can actually see, I think it looks... This, this one we just made, I think, looks a lot better. But you want to capitalize your titles because they just stand out more that way. I'm trying to see. I thought I had one that wasn't capitalized. But hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to uh, subscribe if you enjoyed the video and liked it and want to see more PlayStation content and critique. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash theplatypusparty. And check me out on Twitter and Discord. Links in the description. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.